we have a small shrine here with a Buddha, but in some ways the trees and everything else here is a little acknowledgement to the, the local denizens, the local spirits, whatever they are, some local influence. So I have with me some no. whole nut chocolate, which I am kind of partial to myself at yeah. times. So I offer this little bit here to all local spirits. A little bit of sweetness, a little bit of nuttiness, a little bit of something nice. I mean, it smells nice, I mean, it tastes nice. Something to bring the presence of tantric Buddhas. Oh, oh spirits of the valley! Oh, come down and smell these things and eat them and do as you please. Oh, they're only small little offerings and nothing special, but please, we offer something. Give us good walk. Aho! <laughs> it's a lovely glade. A place where very little could go wrong and nothing could harm you. Sweet place to be. If you step over that, you have to be willing to let go of one of your masks. Of one of my masks? You have to stop pretending something or other. Yeah. Or else you have to go home, basically. Okay. Okay. Let's go. I was being taken to confront my fear of the unknown, which frightened me because I didn't know what it was. Down there is an entrance to the underworld. You can make it your own underworld if you want to. That's where you're going. Down there. What am I going to do? Enter into a place that's dark. Go right to the very, very end. And be willing to confront whatever fear arises. If this brings any kind of anxiety up, any kind, then you deliberately enter into it as an opportunity to feel such things. I'd like, I wish this wasn't happening, but right, I'm really feeling something, I'm alive, something's happening, I'm going to go with this. I'd be totally willing to experience it. It's a tough one. If you think of a way of making it tough for yourself, I suggest you do it. Um, how, far in, how, how far in is it? What are the dimensions? Better if what you can't... didn't ask me, don't you think? I don't know. Better if you just took this on as unknown. The more unknown, the more useful to you. I'm inviting you to take the warrior stance in an opening of any Grimm's tale, you know? There's somebody who goes around looking for trouble. Where is it, then? Well, it's, uh... It's down there. An entrance to the underworld. Let's say an entrance to the underworld, an entrance to fear. It's what you make of it. I'm not saying it's a tiger down there or a leopard. Oh, that's bigger, yeah. Whatever you make of it. It's a gateway to power, like everything else around here. If you're interested in such things, what's your answer? You've been asked nothing yet. You may like to put your armour on, it's a bit cold in there. Yeah? As you like, or you can go in naked if you like. I won't go in naked, thanks. <laughs> I mean, we wouldn't want you to catch your cold now, would we? No need to take the piss. Yo! Hi-ho! Now I place you under geisha, this is an obligation to go to the end of this cave tunnel, whatever you want to call it. That's all. But you won't tell me how far away the end is or... There is no big hole that you're going to fall down, there are no forks, but you will face a lot of darkness and it's cold and it's damp and it's chilly. And I don't know whether ghosts live in there or not. But you must go to the end. I'll know when I'm at the end, will I? And you must come out when you're ready and not before. If it brings you laughter, or it brings you courage, or it brings you pride, or it brings you any gift through your willingness to take on this foolery, then so be it. It's all right, you're trying to reassure me with and words just like foolery. Scared. I am plain scared, yeah, I'm scared. Well, we have a nice drum to reassure you. 
echo swirling around your head will reassure you there isn't a hole. Uh, how, oh, how, how deep's this water? Three inches. You'll never drown in there. Bloody hell. the cave for almost an hour. If I told you that at its deepest point, in total darkness, I had an encounter with a witch that turned my emotions inside out, then I don't know whether you'd believe me. Clearly though, something had perked me up no end. Ah! That's one of the most extraordinary experiences of my life. Take your time, have a look around. You've been in there long enough. I, I've never experienced anything so magical in my life. I felt like an electric current was being passed through me. I was tingling in every extremity of my body. And I, whether it was fear or exhilaration or energy being transferred from her to me, I neither know nor care but it was extraordinarily vivid. Something of the world of the archetypes, you know, they're all living in there somewhere, the whole the dark forest. And a lot of the time they're just waiting for a little bit of nourishment. And when they get a little bit, we can start to dance. Now we dance our way back to the medicine lodge. We don't have to dash off anywhere, but let that dreaming or let that sort of little awakening little places, let's just stay with that and we keep doing more, lots more. I'd say, um, as the day is running on, as time is a flying arrow, we'd uh, send you off somewhere else now. Yeah, because my day's been a bit empty so far. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's nice to have something to fill up the time. Well, you've got to get properly prepared for this sweat lodge tonight. Yeah. So, tigers of wrath are wiser than the horses of instruction. I'm a bit of the horse myself. I won't send you off to the tiger. I want to send you somewhere that, you, again, you don't know where you're going. But um, it's into her lodge, Stone Medicine Woman. Right. At least to a place where she manifests as such. It's a place where um, some interesting things have happened, certainly to me and to others. Um, I want you to go there bearing gifts. Right. And the gifts you have to bring are two stones. What kind of stones is up to you? Two Two stones, is all I'm telling you. Whatever strikes my fancy. It's full of stones. Any two you like. The stone that fits your hand, the stone that fits your troubles and your problems, unvoiced as they are. They are gifts to a woman who intends to heal you. You say everything's all right, but I bet she's going to heal you anyway. You say you're doing fine, but I bet you're not. You probably don't think you need two stones, but you'll need them when you get there. <laughs> Take as long as you want. A stone to bring a medicine lady. Hard to know what kind of stones medicine ladies want, really. Cracked it. This is a pretty nice one, actually. I thought you'd have something to say about your choice. <laughs> Let's go with that and pretty a nice, nice stone of yours. Pretty nice one, nice wet, rusty one, and a, a nice flat dry one. Nice flat dry one and light wet. That's very nice. Let's go and see what the lady thinks. <laughs> Someone for the stone medicine lodge. He's going to the stone medicine lodge. The imagery's a bit over the top, isn't it? Oh, this is for the kids. <laughs> what kids? <laughs> Us, you mean? Where am I going? Okay. Anthony will show you as we go. All right. See you later.